Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and all between. I'm your host, Jay, from Optical Stardust, and today I'm going to be talking about Hive's arcade update, specifically The Bridge. Now, before I get into that, I just want to say, recently, I have been having some problems with recording because of some technical issues and ha hardware limitations. So I apologise if the video is really stuttery, laggy, if it's um, at all any low quality. That is through no means my own fault, and it's just uh, a product of circumstance. Uh, I'm trying to get something sorted out, but obviously a gaming PC is a lot of money. Um, and one that can record at high quality as well, that's a lot more money on top of that. So for now, I'm just going to be trying to make content, but keep it on the sort of down low. Um, also, sorry if the audio is sort of weird. I was in the middle of doing something whilst recording it. Um, this is after I've recorded the rest of the video, so it's like an after note. So um, I apologise in advance. It's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> But yeah, um, hope you enjoy. So I tried to get clips from every single different one of the new arcade games from the Hive Arcade update. And all the other games have gone completely fine, you know, Ground Wars, Block Drop, Capture the Flag. That was a bit of a problem, but it's more of a personal thing than an objective wrong that the Hive have done with Capture the Flag. But what I am struggling with is getting clips of the bridge. Now you may be wondering, oh, why is that you get in trouble getting clips of the bridge? That's because that it's nothing but complete sweats and triads. It is unplayable. And the thing is, Hive advertises it as being skill-based matchmaking. If it was skill-based, if it was, in fact, anywhere near skill-based, then I wouldn't be having this problem. I have lost, consecutively, 20 games in a row. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, this is just like a skill issue, this is just a problem with him. You look at any other game on Hive that I have stats for, and I have done in exceedingly well. I have won about equal times to the amount of loss. It's like a 50-50 split. I have played about 30 games on the bridge. 20 of them I've lost. It's not my fault, it's the fault of Hive for having a completely horrendous matchmaking system or having none at all, and advertising the fact that they do. I'm going up against people that should be equivalent to like level 30s, 40s, 50s, with how high skilled they are, and I'm level 3, barely. The XP sometimes doesn't even work, like I played a bunch with Tom, and the thing is, we won, because it was duos, obviously. Duos is fine, it's just the fact that we kept playing and absolutely no XP went into my XP bar. It's completely ridiculous. And then the thing is, this is Hive's attempt at a quick cash grab. If you look at Cubecraft, they have had a game mode called Bridges for oh, months now. Probably came out in about December-ish? Maybe January? I don't know. All I know is it's one of their most popular games. Definitely not the most, but one of. And Hive wanted to slice that pie because everything that Cubecraft does, there is some form, some alternate version on Hive. And that's the thing. They want a slice of the pie from Cubecraft with the bridge, air quotes. And so they took the core idea of bridges from Cubecraft, stripped it down to its bare bones, removed everything that's fun, and then slapped a sticker on it that says skill-based matchmaking and called it a day. It's not skill-based matchmaking, it's not fun. All the people you fight are either complete toasters or gods at the game. And the fact that it's so toxic as well, it's god-awful. People will taunt you by standing in, in front of your pit, or whatever they call it, a hive, and you will try and get up to them to stop them, but the thing is they will jump in right as you stop them, or try to. So they win the game, taunting you because they hive can't make a proper skill-based map system. And it's just so irretrievably dull and boring. It's lifeless, it's hollow. It's a cheap clay imitation of a stone 
Greek god statue. If you want to play the bridge on Hive, don't. Play bridges on Qcraft. That's not sweaty. That's perfectly fine. It's fun. It's fair. There is no one on God's green earth that can change the entirety of the balance of the game. Not one person on the entire team, because the entire team relatively has the same skill as the other team. Because on average, you'll have a bunch of okay players and a bunch of okay players on the other team as well. There are only one or two really good people. Whereas with the bridge, if there is one good person and everyone else is average, or even slightly below that skill level, you are dead. That is end of full stop. That's why I personally despise the bridge on Hive. I mean, in all, it's not even a personal thing. Most of what I've said is objective fact. Sure, the whole, oh, sweaty people, uh, and only people who play the game, it's constantly people who try hard it out. That might be opinion, sure, but the fact that I've, I've played 30 games and I've lost 20, and the fact that on every other game mode, I actually have exceedingly even scores, you know, 50-50 rates, that tells you that either I am god awful at the bridge, which I am not, I've played nothing but uh, Qcraft's bridges for at least like two months now, or it just tells you that everyone else in there is exceedingly high skill. It, it's completely stupid. I just wanted to make a video about the new arcade update, and then I saw that. I thought, oh, it'd be a nice, fun interpretation, you know. Hive put in a good Hive spin on a Cubecraft game that's been out for a while. They copied it, removed its soul, and labelled its dead body as a new game. It is horrendous. Don't play it. I have never played anything worse. It is offensive to even relate it to Bridges. It's offensive that it has the same word in the name. It's offensive that it's actually a game. It should just be completely removed. And I've, I've held this opinion about a few high games in the past, but not as much as I do now. But it's so god awful. It's like a spit in the face to everyone who's waited for this. And the thing is, Hive don't care. They'll pump out another few updates, then no one will continue playing the bridge. Everyone will play the new game. But they'll still make money off it. People will still play it, people will still buy the high costumes, but at the end of the day, it's not something that should exist. If you want to play, like I said, a good version of The Bridge on Hive, just go to Qcraft and play Bridges. It's under Capture the Flag, I think it is, as an umbrella term. Um, which might I add, Hive has also done pretty badly. Um, I'll talk about that in the Hive Arcade video though. I've gone on for about six, seven minutes now. Anyways, that's my rant over. Optical Stardust's J signing out, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.